Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Mobs, and I'm here with a little demo video for y'all today. And before this video starts, I'm gonna ask y'all to please like and sub up. That will show a lot of support. And as soon as the demo came out, I would start playing around with a lot of different like archetypes and builds. But I found one that honestly is better than a lot of the other ones I've made. And that's the pure yellow pie chart. The pure yellow pie chart in this one is honestly insane. And the fact that I can make a guard as tall as I made it now is honestly crazy. It's a 6'7 playmaker with lock take. And this playmaker can shoot. It's really good at dunking, especially at 6'7. And it has pretty long arms. So it's not like a liability on defense. But yeah, I feel like this build's really going to do well in 2K21. And this build's really good for ISO players like me. Because I play ISO and I need a build that could really dominate during like whenever i get switched up on a smaller guard a bigger guard it doesn't matter and even if we get switched i can still play defense on big guys because i have a pretty long wingspan now and i'm six seven so i don't really see nothing wrong with it but yeah oh uh, so yeah y'all these are a couple other ones of the same build i really was tweaking with it just to see what's the best version and i think i came up with it so you're gonna choose guard right-handed and i chose number four for the amount of subs i got and i love all four of y'all y'all are amazing and for the pie chart i chose the pure yellow that was honestly one of my favorites if they had something like a green and yellow like that like with mostly yellow that would have even been better but it is what it is so for here you're gonna max out your driving dunk you're gonna max out driving layup and you're not going to max out a close shot. You're going to put it until you get about six. And that's honestly way more than I need or how I play. And for this one, you're going to max out mid range, three, free throw. And the only reason I maxed out free throw instead of fade was because I'm going to grind this butt out in my career. And I'm going to put up pass accuracy and ball handle. But you're only going to put pass accuracy until you get 26 point making. And then you're gonna max out lateral, max out steel, perimeter, all that block, and defensive rebounds also. And then you're gonna just put the rest of it, just put the rest of it all on interior defense, just so you can play better D. And at 6'8", you get a really good interior defense, which is honestly really good. I mean 6'7", my bad, my bad. We're gonna go lowest uh, weight, so you can be as fast as possible. Then for here, I went two ticks up, but you can even go three ticks up and you still be perfectly fine. And yeah, that's the lock take for it. And yeah, this is probably a like a really good build that's gonna be really popular in 2K21. But yeah. So I'm gonna show y'all also the badge layout I'm gonna be using once we can. And when I was playing around with it in the test build, it was honestly really good. So I chose gold, contact, silver, slithery, and then bronze relentless. I really like relentless. There's no quick draw, so I have a lot of badges to spare. You can even make this build with less shooting, because honestly, without quick draw, I just had random badges to work with. I put on tireless, because you lose stamina so fast, as what I saw. And Hall of Fame playmaking, I, this is what I would run. I'm trying to use ankle breaker more, because there's so many new drill moves. I'm trying to have fun with it. Space Creator is so easy to use now, so I'd put that on if I have all the badges for it. And this is what I would run. And I don't know how good Pick Dodger is going to be. I just put out Bronze and then Interceptor. You could even put Chase down instead of Pick Dodger, because honestly, after 2K20, I'm not feeling it so much. But yeah, that was my video, y'all. I hope y'all liked it. Um, I'm gonna try to post a couple more different build videos later on. Later, I'm gonna see y'all. Peace.